Mark here with the Exiles, joined by another Mark, uh, our group secretary and one of our lead instructors. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the strange quirk with Fury's, well it's not a strange quirk, we're going to go on to explain why, around Fury's Polax, okay? If you look at the um, Polax section and the manuscripts, you'll notice that the beak of the Polax is always facing up. This is both in poster and also in action as well. So we'd like to talk a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it's one of the things that if you actually look at any of the posters, no matter which one we do, because you think if I was going to hit Mark, for example, I'd want the hammer to be up, because it's natural hit, but it always shows with the beak up. And it doesn't matter which poster that we're actually in, the beak is always in the air, facing upwards, even though you'd think that's better for the actual natural strike. When we're in the middle of the play, or we've come down, we've done a, obviously a bash, the beak is always up. So it means that wherever we are, in a play, in an action, or even waiting, the beak is always upwards. So this gives us an interesting little quirk, like Mark was saying. So what we've got to do, effectively, is when I strike, I've got to turn the polax. So as I strike, I've got to turn this to get the beak up, because this is what's in the manuscript all the time. So it's interesting that we're always turning back and forward. And what it means is that it gives a couple of interesting quirks. One is, if I'm in armour, and particularly if I've got very bad vision because of my visor, I might not know where the end of this polax is. So if I come in to strike, I could strike on the side, I could strike it and do a strike with the beak. And as we've gone on another video, the beak is not the best thing to strike with. It's not what it's designed for. The hammer part is a bit that we're meant to strike with itself. So what they're doing in effect is making sure that they know the orientation of the end of the polax at any time. And by keeping it upright, the beak always is up, they know without being able to see, because they can turn it, and always know exactly which bit is a dangerous bit they're going to hit things with, or they're going to do work with the beak. And that's why we think the beak is always upwards. The other thing as well, though, is if I do get it wrong, and I come down with the beak and miss it, I can ground it. I can hit the beak in the ground, which means it'll stick. I don't want that to happen. Not good particularly in armour, where I can't see what's going on very well. If I lose orientation, there are times when I'm fighting, I can see the end, I can turn it. And now I've got my orientation again. So I can get back, beak up, down, up, down. And it's interesting that by manipulating the actual, the haft itself, to keep the end where they know where it is as an actual sharp attacking weapon. Okay. Cool, so we've got these trainers, okay, these are nice and safe. Yesterday we had these bashing about each other in armour, so great fun. Um, but so remember this video, the next one is just specifically about the beak bit, okay, because we'll talk about the other bits of this another time. So just to play this through uh, a little bit, okay. So I'm on this side of my body from this poster, which is true cross, so very crotch shape, okay. So let's play this through. The beak is up, we'll go that way a little bit, that's it. The beak is up, okay. Um, let's say Mark's going to hit me from his right shoulder. Okay, he may or may not know this system, so he doesn't have to be as disciplined with the beak. Remember, I'm the furious in this case, okay? So one of the exchanges I might do is, as he swings in, I'm coming out with the hammer to meet in the cross, and I'm trying to ground it, which gives us some of the images from the manuscript. Okay, so as I ground it, but the beak is always staying up, okay? So I started with it up over here, but if I just move my arms as I would a sword, I'm going to be coming forward with the beak, which is not what I want. Not in this case, okay? So I'm speak up, which means when I find the cross, I've actually rotated the weapon to expose the hammer, okay? And similarly, as I then push this to ground, the hammer's now forward the whole time, okay? We'll go on to explain a bit more about this in the second video, but it's an interesting thing. If you look at the, the poster, okay, and you look at the plays, the beak is always up, which means that I need to have really good discipline, okay? So hammer down, Beak up. All about that discipline. No matter what's going on, the beak up, yeah, hammer out, hammer down, beak always up. Okay? So it's an interesting thing just to be mindful of. Till the next one.